Let's carry out now an ANOVA test with an interval ratio variable that measures how much time you're spending with your children. We have already used this during the lectures. So it's coded, coded 0 if you would spend no time with them, 1 if you spend less than 5 hours, 3 if you spend between 15 to 29 hours, and so on. And the variable that would distinguish between the different populations is marital status. So analyze, compare means, one-way ANOVA, click on it, and you see here that I already entered for the dependent list the interval ratio variable hours looking after your children, and for the factor, the variable that distinguishes between the populations, and in our case between the samples, is marital status. Click please on options, and click on descriptives and means plot, because if not, you will have an output without any type of descriptive stable or means plot. And this is important for you to be able to interpret what you see um, in, in your data set. Click on continue and click OK. So the outcome should be the following. Sometimes when you're working with very large data sets, it takes a couple of minutes until SPSS calculates everything. And what do you see? Well, it's when you have the means plot in ANOVA, it's easier to look at this graph and just say separated people are the ones who spend the most time with their children. The average was 1.4, and if you look it up again according to the coding, that's somewhere in between 5 to 19 hours, if I remember correctly. Then uh, less time uh, is spent with them, uh, followed by, actually, followed by married and in, uh, common law people, which is normal. And then by divorced, and the last uh, two averages were given by the single and widowed people. So the least time spent with them is by the widowed people. And here you see the averages. I would assume that widowed people are very old, and their children have already grown up, are already grow, gr grown up, and you know there is they didn't indicate any time spent with them in terms of child caring time, like you would spend with an infant or with a toddler or with a very young child. And what is surprising is that uh, separated people are basically the ones which spend the most time, and maybe because of the arrangement that they have with their ex-files, it, it can be plausible, and also married people. I was assuming that married people will finish at the top. So we can see in the sample averages that these um, times that were indicated on average are very different. So the question is, can we generalize from what we see in our descriptive stable to the whole population? Remember that the null hypothesis for ANOVA is that the population averages are equal, mainly that these differences were caused by random chance, like, for example, by a sample. And we cannot generalize from these observations to the whole population of divorced, married, separate, single, and widowed people. As I already mentioned, ANOVA is a very simple test for in SPSS. You just have to look up the significance, see that it is less than 5%, reject the null hypothesis based on that. So basically, we can say that the differences in the sample averages were not caused by random chance, the population averages are not equal, and we can generalize from these observations to the whole population and say that divorced, married, separated, single, and widowed people spend considerably uh, or significantly different time frames with their children, and these are uh, statistically significant. And basically, this is the end of the test.